right? So that's the initial grenade being used. Just kind of guesswork at that point in time. Yeah, the salvo to try and just gain some map control. It's given them access to Banana, but equally, Navi sense what's coming. Electronic has rotated over. This is a tough defense, especially because Electronic has the nades. He can re-smoke this as well. This can get stalled out very quickly. Keep your eye on the minimap. Shocks lurking over towards those A-holes as well. He can be a plan B or he can backstab. Well, there's the counter smoke coming up, but they're already committed to it. They're running through. Alex will pick up the one that's trying to track them through the smoke, and that almost works out. Immediate attempt. At oh, oh my god! That can't really be happening. And Electronic, how is he doing this again? Three kills, and two of them, if you blink, you missed it. Apex and Shocks now. Two versus four, and that bomb is... I mean, how can they stop that from being defused? They're all on there. There's Shocks' his flank, and he's completely negated. The bomb isn't planted for him whatsoever. No, it's all the way in the corner. There's Perfecto, and a follow-up. Jump out of the apartments. That might be what they're doing, in fact. They're setting up for it. There's the initial grenade, and they're already out of the corner. There's a bit of a problem now. Electronic down here, yeah. He's thinking there might be some grenades coming his way. He's going to smoke it off and try and buy a time. He was right about the grenade, and again, he lost lines them up. He's such an incredible player on this map. Apex, now one versus four, and he's doing his best to do some damage, but Vitality getting actually fairly close to the A bomb site here. But shit, I mean, that in itself is interesting. Now they're being allowed to run all the way through Arch and into T or CT spawn, where Simple nearly getting caught there. That's a, a tremendous amount of map control. Boomage almost ran past Apex over at uh, Banana, but now, I don't know, this is kind of falling apart. <laughs> Now it's getting really, really difficult because it's... What do they have? One flashbang there? Oh, they don't even get a chance to do that. So I will beat up Boomich before they even get to it, which... I don't know. They probably should have waited for each other to try and actually double up. Now, no matter what he does, he's going to be walking into a crossfire. And he's done a lot electronic, but this is... Even without the armor on the enemies, this is almost too much to ask for. It, and it, I think he feels that as well. It's going to be a save. Vitality is going to get their first round on the board. They steal one right back. He's going to put some pressure on Flamey towards the spawn arches. Oh, and the first player got past. Alex thought it was clear. He's eliminated. Good peek from Perfecto. Even though he's taken down, that's the bomb. So far away from the site. That should be the round. RPK has to straight up sprint, but it doesn't matter. Everyone falls. CT side, you can't even go and get that much information without getting into trouble. I think the one benefit is since there's three players at the A bomb site, that low HP, if they clear out the rest of the defenders, they might not expect Boomich to be there. Yeah. Good first kill. Simple's going to go for the peek. Another leg shot. There's so many people at this corner. Vitality, they just, they're just they going to keep fighting in every single turn here. They line up, and Perfecto, he's doing a remarkable job at the moment. Oh. Getting already a lot, and oh, I can't believe it. Shock somehow bringing it back. A little bit of a team kill in mid, but it's still a two-on-one. Shocks, if he can find it, he's going to have a little bit of time. 35 seconds, he's got the MP9, and Flamey is on the other side. Somehow this actually turned. They should have lost this round already, Vitality, but they brought it back a bit, and Shocks knows he's ready to take that fight. 25 seconds, stuck in the corner is Flamey. If Shocks had any kind of a grenade, that would be a bad time. He's going to fake it once. Still got a chance to play this game a bit more. Goes for the white peak, but Flamey will hit the headshot instead. Another... Change in the defensive look. It's simple and electronic now to defend the A bomb site. Perfecto has rotated over towards B. Perhaps thinking they've shut him down enough. It's going to be an attack towards the other side, and RPK gets caught in an awkward position. Not knowing what fight to take and all on his own. He saw that shoulder. Flamey going to try and tap it away, but Alex actually going to beat him to the punch. That's pretty good. That bomb site very much undefended. Boomich just turning around and trying to do a little bit of damage. Flashbang going to be set up. Boomich, does he want to come through? He's thinking about it, but he's currently just off on the coffins, and I think he's waiting for maybe another grenade to come through. Bomb attempted. Boomich oh, jumping no. in, getting the shot, and he nearly got it. The bomb will be planted at least, and it's a 2 on 3 so he could have almost won the round right then and there. Now it's electronic and simple, which was the real They're power duo. Away. They're giving it up. I don't know. They've had a lot of success. They've been in Arch. They've managed to push their way through. A lot of things have been working out for the uh, T side. And there's Alex opening up on electronic with an AWP. He didn't even have backup. He was just alone in the apartments with an orb. That's pretty bold. Well, look at this bold play. Speaking of it, Simple's moving into his position, and he's got an immediate headshot on Shocks. Back into a four on four towards the B bomb site. That's the only map control Vitality has. They must make this hit work. Well, Boomich, they should be able to get down, although that CC is actually doing a lot of damage. It's Flamey back here, though, with that M4, and he's so deadly accurate with it. The flashbangs to set him up for a kill. He's going to headshot Saiwu and take him down. 
And that means Alex, yeah, throwing away the AWP saying, I am not going to win this round, but I'm going to try and make sure you can't get that gun. They're not having the opening kills or the early success to provide the openings to make those kinds of cool calls. Look at the Molotov damage. RPK burning again. Oh, a missed shot. This could spell trouble. Boomich turns the corner. Blind double kill for Boomich. And that was a flashbang setup from Flamey inside of the B-bomb site, so amazing stuff. But Shox is tired of losing rounds. He's gonna get a headshot once there. Perfecto out in the open. It's all or nothing, and I think he was turning for a grenade. He knew. No, he was turning because he knew Alex was coming on the rap side. That was being called out. Oh, he heard that. Probably by Boomacher. Yeah, maybe he heard a footstep. Either way, he got distracted. This should be the fourth round for Vitality. Oh. And the follow-up, too. They're gonna throw a lot of grenades into the corner. The spray is through, and Boomich somehow comes out on top. He's down to 52 health himself, but early grenades coming into the pit, just trying to soften up Electronic or whoever is down there. And Sibyl's now wrapped around, so they could still get crunched. I mean, this is one of those dangerous positions. Oh, if they fall back, though, there is a very, very interesting setup over at B, which is, which is hard to deal with. Oh, I think the, the quiet that's going to come out of the A bomb site, the fact that there's no more utility being thrown, I think Simple should get the information pretty quickly and start rotating over, but he's being cautious. So yeah, it is going to be all in this boost. Here come the Molotovs, here come the utility. Yep, throwing it in, but nothing going into the back, and you see they're not ready for the angle. Flamey with a big oh, double, no. turns it into a triple. More bullets, probably would have been a quad kill. It's a classic. Pop flash over, a chance for Boomage again. Oh, he's going to throw it now and behind the board. Oh, Vitality's going to be blind. It just came a second too late. Nothing Boomich could do to buy time for the pop flash to work out, but a new angle for Flamey. Right towards the angle, turns from his own flashbangs. And now the peak, RPK, Nate in hand, he lines them all up! You've laid it out for us, Jason. You're pretty good at the prediction stuff, so <laughs> let's see how this works out. There we go, he's throwing it in. Does it actually segment him? It kept simple back, and now they're being just completely shut down in the middle. The three red crossfire in effect. Simple trying to get it back, and he's incredibly accurate with that Glock, and Flamey will follow it up. I can't believe it, it's turned around. They actually did everything that you said down to the second, and now, it's a one versus two for Shox. He's on the bomb site, but they could pick up the bomb on the other side, and they still have 28 seconds. That's enough time to make it back to B if they want to. Instead, they're gonna run for rap instead, and oh, actually, they just run the other way. This they is let the, him go. This is the knockout punch. If Shox cannot somehow clutch this round, I don't think Vitality gets back into this game. I think this is where all the frustration boils over, and Flamey just lying in wait, the ambush. You know, if you get one of those rounds, then you can start to build it a little bit. It can't be the whole game plan, clearly, but... Oh, that's unfortunate. Apex, again, much like the pistol round, they're getting everything you could possibly want out of this setup. Two flashbangs there on Saibu. He's trying to play close in. Uh, they definitely saw him. They know, and Boomich will take him down. Shocks with one good headshot. 20 oh, no. seconds, and they're starting to fall back. Oh, this is making me real nervous. Navi, have you actually left enough time for this? If anything goes wrong over on this side, it's done, and that might have already happened. Simple goes down to RPK. The archway, Alex on the other side. Eight seconds left, and they're trying to see if they can wrap through, and he's just ready and waiting. Oh, man, that is a bold call for Navi to be making, and yeah, I mean, even with that kill on Alex, it would not have worked out. Hopefully, Vitality not trying anything like that, but I'm just saying the grenades at the bottom there were pretty good. <laughs> it worked out well that time. That was the good 50%. Oh. That, that's the bad 50%. Just in some... Graveyard, where there's literally nowhere else to go. Once I'm... you're spotted here, you're pinned down. I'm sure he'll be fine. <laughs> Try not to even worry. He's crouching in. There's the one. He oh continues to spray. He actually wants more and he gets it. Alex! Three kills! They have some health left to fight with. This might not be over in spite of everything that Alex just did. Trying to see if they can get a little bit of spam through the wall there, but not really connecting. And Boomich ready to stand up. A missed opportunity. Perfect. will spray them down. Oh, they're gonna do it. Oh, I thought he was gonna jump around the corner for the off. That's a good kill on Apex. Finally, he's won that battle, getting aggressive down banana. He got close a couple times. This time he seals the deal. So. Alex has a smoke as well, so he can delay this and look at the time. When Alex puts that smoke down, it's going to be, what, 28 seconds? When it clears 26, they're going to have to go through it. Yeah, and they are. CZ will stop one of them. Apex, actually, Apex shooting through and getting another one. That's a beautiful defense. Just, I mean, the smoke did almost everything, like you said. Flamey trying to make sure they can't pick up that AWP in case they wanted two of them, I guess. But ultimately, a solid defense here from Vitality with very, very limited equipment. That was a good read. And they had Saibu over at Arch looking in the middle. He knew that there was no one there, so they could afford to throw Alex over on that side. He does seem to just enjoy those SMGs no matter what. RPK, that's really aggressive. And they see the gun barrel, and he almost wins the fight anyway. Hard to believe, but he had some backup up in the apartments. They need to make this work, though. Apex will get a kill on Flamey. 
So at least they evened it out a bit. Oh my god, this play from Shox is so cool. He just drops right out. He knows that's where the action is. He's gonna have a fast flank, and the map is shrinking for Na'Vi. They have no idea this is coming in. Simple is alone with the bomb. They're gonna try and run a fake, but Shox is gonna put a stop to it, I think, before it begins. Simple's got no chance, and that is the bomb while they were working the B bomb side on the other side. No, no point in that anymore. I love that play from Shox. That is some very cool stuff. Mac 10 against the AWP of Alex. Again, they can take it out of his hands. And if he can throw that away, he can't. If Navi can get in here, retakes are not easy. That's a good shot creeping through the smoke. Now the boost becomes effective. Alex goes down, big kills from Simple. Somehow he's got two. Oh, that actually gives them an opportunity. Still 30 seconds. Problem is Electronic is low on health, and I think he's hiding inside of the smoke still, just waiting for that to clear like he's been doing all along, and he gets a headshot on Saiwoo. He is exploiting that to the maximum benefit, and it's uh, really working out well for him so far here in London. Apex is sneaking around. I don't think Perfecto has any way of knowing that. And Apex, he's got the right idea. He definitely sees that, and a straight headshot leaving Electronic in a one versus two, and smoked off as well. This is going to have to be an absolute prayer for him to, for this to even work close, and he actually gets a shot right through this short can't be happening. He's trying again. A bullet would take him down, but RBK maybe doesn't even know. The grenade and Electronic saving them one more time. A magnificent clutch. Just a little bit of an attempt at some control. Ooh, that Molotov actually does nothing at all now, setting up for the flashbang, but there's a lot of people waiting here, and he was not ready for it. Alex, the only one defending B, he goes down. They wanted to be aggressive and catch them off guard, and instead they might have just given them the map here. Three versus five, the bomb hunt's gonna be going down and simple. Aggressively pushing to take down Saibu before the rest of the troops even show up. And look at this angle, such a deep angle towards CT spawn. Even smokes, wow. Yeah, well, his teammate smoked him out. <laughs> he could have had one more onto it, but yeah, that's not, that's not the worst thing in the world either. Molotov behind the smoke, even if they come through it. There's no time to make this work. You have to find five kills and the defuse. More utility being spent. Flamey is just gonna swing. And that's gonna be it. Inferno goes to Na'Vi. They outlast a pretty admirable comeback from Team Vitality to take this map victory. And even though the scoreline is close, that first half, individually dominant performance for Na'Vi. Electronic was great. Perfecto was great. This is going to be like almost like a delayed split. They want to keep the attention on long. Perfecto, Simple, and Flamey making their way up catwalk, but Alex has negated this entire defense. So what is the decision? What does Navi choose to do here? I really don't know. They need kills very, very quickly, and they might get them here. The headshots are coming through. Flamey and Perfecto, and RPK he had nowhere to hide. I can't believe they end up losing this A-bomb site. They knew Simple with the final kill and Navi. Here comes more utility towards Catwalk, but at least Vitality held their nerve and didn't use utility the first time around. So this could create a very difficult attack for the Na'Vi offense. Zaiwu with the first kill, just spamming through the smoke, but he's completely blind. Out of the fight for the moment. And more spam doing a little bit more damage. Well, there's so much backup coming in. Perfecto's miles away. He wanted to catch rotations in the middle, and none have come through. So right now, they're just being stalled, and they need kills immediately, or this will not work out. Electronic gets dropped. Boomich, he's got one kill. Simple's there to help out. 30 seconds on the clock, and Saibu peeks right into it. Simple is ready, and they take the head off of RPK as well. That's Simple doing so much work, and now down the middle. I mean, Perfecto's already shown himself a shock. to knows if he keeps pushing, he's going to get shot in the back. What a triple kill from Simple in this round. Now, they've invested and then they have to keep it alive and it has to work right off the bat and it looks like it could be a very very aggressive hit into the b-bomb side and he's lost his backup in there that's a disaster shocks is alone and they're gonna run him right down one of the ops already gone and there's no point in retaking not even worth really having that discussion not even worth thinking about it now comes the tough part i mean kind of for both teams they have a decision to make navi how much do they want to invest in trying to hunt these last players down how many how dedicated are they to take the guns away flashbang in boomage oh my god he's blind and it doesn't matter it feels weird, weird continuously saying Vitality have the right ideas, but, but they're not getting paid for them. And now they definitely know. Or oh, down there in the pit. Just play me want to feel confident with the AK. So quick, and they're still coming for him. Bomb has only just gone up. He takes a peek. He misses the chance. They're right around the corner. And the AWP is not going to make it into the next round. Simple's got one, and he's coming back to T-spawn right now. So that might be exactly what they're going to do. Although, no, it's not. Electronic going to come in first, and he loses that fight. Can he get away? RPK evacuates very quickly. That's a good opening kill. 
Boomich is out the middle. Saiwoo's watching that all the way from the car, although the smoke, he comes through the smoke to challenge Saiwoo. That could and maybe should have been a kill. He's gonna be, if he had gone down this side, that would have been very frustrating because that's such an unlikely play. Alex waiting and nobody is looking for him. I'm not sure they even need him at this point in time. That's how the double ops are supposed to work. Grenade, he had the sign in his mind, I'm sure, but doesn't really matter right now. Saiwoo getting a bit overwhelmed and Alex, because of the Molotov especially, able to stand on his own there. That's important. Yeah, thank God for that Molotov. Flamey's out long. RPK's dinked and still wins the fight. The Kree holding down the trigger, but Alex is under pressure now. And RPK with low HP, he might just want to try and control long and give up on this fight. He's only got six health. Anything will do. The Deagle shot is in. Overkill to the face. And Simple's going to get a plant, and this is a winnable round. Especially with that AWP on Simple. Anything is possible at that point in time. Vitality, you've, you've built your way into this. Now is not the time to be throwing it away. Shox is holding one angle and probably just caught in the with Apex coming up from long. They've got them almost pinched it in right now. This could work out, but Simple will take down one. He spots out Apex as well. Perfecto with no armor up there. The M4, he gets the kill. And Vitality give it back. Oh, Boomin just snuck into the middle though. Did he actually make it past? He's still kind of there. That grenade right in front. Shox, I kind of just almost saw it. A step in the wrong direction, and Boomich would have been killed already. Now he's managed to make it in there. He's actually guarding middle. Cyber will take down one, and he's back for more with the AWP. An easy shot, that second one. And that A defense worked very well. Now the Molotov only works if Zaiwu gets the first kill. Otherwise, it's ruined. There's a pop flash coming in. Oh, first kill, second kill for Boomich. Perfect flashbang, and it works again. Nice enough from Apex, but still a lot of trouble for RPK. And they're coming in from long as well. Flamey's a couple of seconds away. <laughs> Apex goes down and yeah, RPK, what could he do at this point in time? Yeah, he's gonna shut down Flamey. That was him. Slow look coming in there. Shocks, <laughs> no chance. That AWP needs to be saved, but he's already at 13 health. And yeah, he's, I mean, he just wants any kind of a clean opening fight, but you're right. They're on either side of him. As soon as they find out, they are gonna, they're gonna be able to run him down surely. Perfecto gets dropped and now shots one way or the other. He's about to get shot at the back from Flamey once again. So the AWP not going to make it into the next round. It's a good shot at the end. Auto shotgun. There are three people behind him and he has absolutely been spotted. Uh, he's going to have a chance, but it's not going to be much. Great headshot on Perfecto and Cyber took down Boomich. He's running for it. He wants to get it. He could have had it. Look at the health on Electronic. Ten of them left now. Shox is moving into the bomb site, but he can't really move in and defend it. He's just at the door waiting. That might have been a smart move. They're bottlenecks. They can't get out here. Yeah, Zaiwu with the op. Shox close up. Over the top of the smoke. Simple's got one. Excuse me. Maybe they can get in. Oh, and he's grouping up with Apex on the other side. They're running Electronic. Apex fighting. Even spotting the bomb, so it's a very successful hit early on. Whatever Navi were planning, it's it's pretty much been ripped away from them. Simple, a chance for a one versus five. Those are pretty rare. Yeah, but he's got time. He's got time to pretty much go wherever he wants to find the next fight. They know where the bomb is. In upper dark. And Simple's posted up waiting. That's a that's a hell of a shot if you were to hit it. No one's gonna be there. Pushing out mid, you have Zaiwu with the AWP holding the angle, and in lower B, he's got Alex. Still patient. This next one, that's how do you win this fight? 50 seconds left. He is kind of banking on them actually moving into his crosshair at one point or another, and if they keep moving around, there's definitely a chance for it. 40 seconds now. Everywhere he goes, it's pretty much a one-on-one. -on -one. Although Shock's now sinking out of the upper dark, is going to join up with RPK, so that helps. 35 seconds now for Simple. Flashbang gives up his position. He has no idea. Long range, he goes for it and they double up on him. If you're not able to win the pistol. Boomich all on his own and there's nowhere to go. Even the Glocks are going to be effective through that car. And it's a shame because they were pushing up middle at the same time. If Boomich hadn't got caught, if he could have stayed alive, it would have been interesting. Shots ready and waiting with the clock and he will win the fight. Electronic is there. He'll at least get a return, but this should still work out all right. They are at range with the USPs though, so it's not nothing. The, the tough part is Vitality's boxed in. Now they have to go towards the A-bomb site. Perfecto and Flamey on catwalk and CT spawn. Electronic now joining up with them. That could be an indication if Electronic gets a kill, they'll know the flank is clear that RPK can give it up. Three-man retake coming from Catwalk, and they need to win some stellar fights. They need to use these boxes really well. 
No headshots in that flurry. Perfecto is there. Flamey joining in. A lot of damage being dished out. And Apex goes down. Alex as well. And now they need to follow oh, it no. up. Another headshot. Flamey drops it. It's on RPK with the clock. And he's tapping away. He needs one more headshot. Perfecto oh. gets him in return. He's got the kit and they have the round. He's called them all back. This is those mid-round calls that Vitality has impressed people in the past with. But it's so awkward because he's here alone, right? He's going to walk right into that shot from Electronic. And now the rest of his team that are coming up can't walk. If they don't, that's success. It's all for nothing. Boomich will get a kill, but Saiwoo's there with a bit of a return. And they take down Simple. A huge double win there for Saiwoo. And that actually clears the path. I thought that could have backfired pretty heavily, so I'm impressed they turned it around. Simple is now trying to follow up, and that might actually be preferable at this point in time. He's going to go for the fight, and he takes down Saibu. Wants to re-peak it, maybe, but he's thinking better of it. Still under 50 seconds on the clock, so going back for the catwalk, and that smoke is going to obscure it a little bit, but he knows. He tries for the flick, and in pit, Boomage doing his job absolutely perfectly, and they're just doubling up. They weren't expecting Perfecto as well. The bomb is back here, and now nobody's going to be able to pick it up. That's an amazing defense for Na'Vi. They read, they, they got every single fight in the right order, more or less. Yeah, the flashbang to give Simple the angle. And Vitality peeked back into it with one of their own, but still a chance for RPK. He's been a god in clutches this weekend throughout this tournament. He's got to do one more here to keep Vitality alive. One versus two. He's already taken out the third player. And up towards Catwalk, the off angle for Flamey. RPK just trying to cross because of lack of time. 3AK is a Galil and a Scout. Fast pace towards Long. Flamey's going to line him up. Help of the nade on the Apex as well. Simple in the middle, not a scout, but an AWB to take down shocks. Needs some magic, but Simple gonna start peeking up middle, creeping out for another fight, and he's got it. Yeah, Perfecto is waiting in T-spawn, so it's gonna be hard for Alex to check this particular corner. I don't even think he'd expect it. I don't think he's even gonna look. 15 to six. Go to the car and wait. And that's good, it gives some information. Knows no one is pushing long just yet. Apex goes down, Boomish is ready for more of a no. fight in the middle and he'll spray them down. A triple! They wanted to drop him. And he just took this series right from out under them. It's gonna be one versus five here for Sharks with a Galil and... Yeah, some crushed spirits at the meantime too, you have to imagine. Simple's out there waiting for him, and Navi, they are looking like a very scary team at the moment. They're definitely warming up into this current form. The fact that Perfecto is playing so well, you see Simple having a good time enjoying his life, and obviously Electronic is still just playing like an absolute champion. So, yeah, this is uh, an amazing future they've got ahead of them. If they can just keep this going, you uh, have to expect big things. 16 to 6 as they take down Vitality. On